Ghetto Squad, I'm Leland, and welcome to another episode of Athletes, and I'm joined by Miss Lauren Ansel. Yes. In your position, because I don't want to mess it up. Yep, Director of Football Sports Nutrition. And what are we expecting to see today? Uh, we are going to take a tour of our dining hall. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm also very hungry. We had a, a long layovers <laughs> and things to Ooh, get here. Good, we're here. So I'm ready. Okay, I have an sounds appetite. good. <laughs> I already see the food here. Uh, yes. what, so as soon as you walk in, I, what I noticed was, first the branding everywhere mm -hmm. was amazing. Then I saw the plates. Yes. Explain those. Okay, so the plates, um, it's kind of twofold. One, it gives them a look at what is on the menu today because no one wants to really walk around too far. Um, so it gives them an idea of like what they can look for and what they can expect today. So if they're trying to gain, what should your plate look like based on the food that we have today? Um, so based on every menu, we are always changing these plates again so that they can use it in real time of looking at what is actually being offered. So what can they actually use on their plate instead of just, you know, the generic one that they might not have any idea how to make it based on the menu items that we have. If I, let's say I did come in, uh -huh. and let's say it is supposed to be an easy training day for me, but I'm really hungry. Would I mess up by going, getting the moderate? Like, no, would I be in trouble? To, no, you okay. gotta listen to yourself a little bit. Uh -huh. um, like your body's gonna adjust. So I would say I would eat like, for you, I would probably eat your vegetables first, eat your protein, then eat your carbs, see if you're hungry after. Like, it, obviously, if you overfill your plate at first, you know, sometimes our eyes are bigger than our stomachs, but if we grab it, we wanna eat it. So kind of just like eat first, take some time. If you're still hungry, go get that second plate. So the first thing you see when you walk in our cafeteria is gonna be our Mongolian grill. So this is really where we have our action station items. Um, and what I mean by action station is these are places where you can really individualize what you're getting. So everything on the line is gonna be pre-cooked for you, but this is where you can really customize whatever it is. So sometimes we'll have sliders over here. You know, we'll do like a chicken chili cheesesteak, quesadillas. Um, today we have stir fry though. So on this section, you have all your veggies, all your add-ins that you can put in. So this is obviously where you're gonna start. Um, then you're gonna go to your protein area. We got a steak, uh, shrimp, and chicken, and then you can choose your rice. She'll put it on, she'll cook it for you. We'll get some sauce in there. Um, so just how, however you like it. We got about five different sauces, so it is completely up to you. Is there a particular um, food item or items that you, you say that should be incorporated with every meal uh, for every student athlete? So I would, I mean, I group them more into categories. So protein, carbs, and color. Um, those are gonna be your three whenever I want them to build a plate. I break it down, like if I'm looking at their plates and trying to explain to them what else they're missing or what else they need, um, I try to break it down. I'm like, okay, you have your protein, you have your carbs. I see no color on your plate. You know, we have to go back. We gotta find that color for you. All right, so Lauren, as we go to the next station, kind of discuss your day-to-day. -day. Like, what does your day-to-day -day look like? Okay, so this morning was pretty early. You know, we had 6.30 lifts, so I'm here probably at no later than 5 o'clock if I'm working out a little bit earlier. Um, but just getting here, getting set up for the day. Um, we have lift groups, so, you know, we always have smoothies to make. I have student workers coming in. Um, honestly, the first thing I do when I get here is actually come up and I fill these vitamin drawers. Um, just get it out, kind of out of the way. Um, but these are going to be very specific to them and what they need. This is your vitamin D and their fish oils. So I come up here and get this done, check on the cafeteria, see how it's going, making sure we're going to be good for service starting at 7 a.m. Um, I'll come up here, make some plates, and then go back downstairs to our lifts and just make sure everything is ready for our recovery setup, making sure that they have everything. Um, the rest of the day, you know, today we're doing DEXA scan, so that's pretty busy. Um, just being, you know, kind of up and down between the weight room and here, just making sure I have a presence here just in case anyone needs anything. Um, same thing for lunch, and then we'll transition into our afternoon workout switch. We'll have a whole, you know, pre-workout table set, um, some quick hydration before they get on the field. I'm out on the field just in case they need anything when I'm out there. We have another recovery, we'll have a grab-and-go snack, and then I'm done. We're cleaning up and we're going out for the day. So you're you're yes, moving. everywhere, everywhere. Okay, so this section is what I'm gonna call, I call it like our homestyle section. This is just our, our normal line. Um, so this is the area where, you know, at lunch we go, we scale back a little bit, but um, this is the area where we just have your, your kind of quote unquote like normal protein. So, you know, today we have chicken thighs, shrimp. At dinner as we normally have, um, we'll always have three protein choices. Um, we'll always have a carb and always have some vegetables over here. Um, so again, this is just kind of that main, main line, our, our homey foods everything that you're kind of used to. So at lunch, we also have like some pre-made sandwiches. Obviously lunch is a hard time. Everyone's between classes. Um, you know, some people have meetings, workouts, all of that. So just making things as fast as possible so our kids can get to wherever they need to go next. Now I see we're approaching what looks like maybe my second favorite station and that's the pizza. Just talk about that. Yeah, um, so we'll have pizza. I believe we have it every day. Um, you know, we try to get out some different varieties. Um, we have this beautiful pizza oven, um, but again, this is just something more comfortable for them. We just like the station. I think it's a hit. And again, it's just something that likes 
worst comes worst, like you have no other time, we can get some pizza. This would be a very popular item, um, especially for lunch, but we always have it for dinner, breakfast, or lunch and dinner. So we'll have three different kinds of lettuces. We have all the different toppings that you can imagine. So we've tried it, like, especially this semester, we try to add more protein options. So edamame, chickpeas, hummus, um, beans, you know, anything that you can add to make this kind of like a gourmet salad for yourself. And on the other side of this, we always have fresh cut fruit. Um, I think it's an important, you know, again, with that color, you know, it doesn't always have to be vegetables. It can be fruits too. Um, I think it's really important to always have a source of fresh cut fruit. So we'll always have pineapples, always have watermelons, especially when they're in season grapes, strawberries, the berries, you know, high antioxidants. Um, so just that, I, I would say that is hit a ton. Um, and it will be used in relation with our uh, yogurt bar, which will have Greek yogurts available. Again, higher protein, also a great snack option. Can you be a football player and be plant-based? I think you can. I just think you have to be very calculated about it. Um, I did have a vegan athlete at one point, and he was, he was great. He was like the most mature person you could have ever asked to be a vegan athlete. Um, it's just, it's hard, right? You have to meet your protein needs. You have to understand that plant-based proteins aren't absorbed as well in your body as other proteins. Um, so kind of making up for that and just making sure you're eating enough. Um, especially, again, that protein, the carbs are gonna come pretty naturally if you're following a plant-based diet. Um, but I definitely think it's possible, but I think it has to, like, it's a lot of meal prep. It's a lot of work to do but definitely possible. I would never steer, any way, steer anyone away from doing it. It's just guiding them how to do it correctly so that you know, at the end of the year, we're not doing our DEXA and we're 20 pounds you know, lean mass lost. All right, Squash, so I'm here with uh, Billy Edwards, quarterback. Sir, how we doing? How are you? Good, appreciate you having me. Man, I, I'm hungry. I've been here all day. I hear the pizza spot is, is it's place one of be. the best. Yeah, 100%. So we're gonna make a pizza. Um, but before we get into that, I wanna just talk about uh, kind of your experience. You know, How was it, um, your transition coming from high school and then coming to play D1 football as far as, as food. And what, what were some of the things you were kind of nervous about? Um, really just like I'd say the control, the self-control, because you know, coming to the, the, the Division One level, you have a lot of options as you can see here, you know, in this facility. Um, so really just like the control to kind of develop a plan. I'm a big routine guy, big plan guy. So I said I'll kind of eat the same thing for breakfast, similar for lunch. And dinner, I kind of, you know, do whatever I want, depending on, you know, if I want to have a cheat day or whatnot, or yeah. a pizza, whatever the case may be. Um, so just kind of developing a plan, because like, there's plenty of options here, so I try to have fruit in every meal, you know, the pizza station great, and that's why, I can, you know, we can only have it a couple times sure. a week, sort of thing. <laughs> so that was just probably the biggest thing for me, was just developing a plan, you know, that would work for me, so I can, you know, do whatever I want to do with my body composition, gain muscle, lose muscle, fat, whatever I wanted to do, um, to, you know, get my body in the best performance, so that when, you know, when we get on the field, I. I feel the best shape I can and I'm playing like I want to. How, how have you felt uh, food affect your performance? I think, you know, coming to play Division One football, I think in high school you can kind of get away with, sure. eating, with eating poor. Um, so you definitely you see- meal before the game. <laughs> yeah, you definitely see, you know, you definitely see the dividends that food can pay with having like, you know, starting off your day strong with a breakfast. I think, you know, this past season, our travel meals are, you know, second to none. They're just, just as good at the facility as we eat every day. So, you know, seeing how, the proper nutrition and fueling yourself and your body before a game, like how you feel differently in a game compared to like, you know, some morning workouts, like I wouldn't eat anything before and I'm getting ready to pass out like halfway through. So sure. it was like, that was, you know, I learned that my freshman year of school and started to eat the right way and properly like, you know, prepare my body, fuel my body with whatever the food was, whether it was just some fruit, some oatmeal, eggs, omelet, whatever we have up here. So, you know, when I get on the field, I feel the best when we're lifting weights. You know, the off season is a grind. Mm -hmm. Same with the season. So you gotta, you know, you gotta feel your body regardless of what you're going through. So kind of, what are you, what are your, your kind of go-to options? I'm a big, you know, sausage, bacon, meat lovers kind of guy. Gotta get meat lovers. Yeah, like <laughs> meat lovers. Sausage, bacon. You gotta get the protein on there. That's right. You know, you, you, get, you get enough bread in the in the in the uh, the dough and stuff. So you gotta throw on a little bit of uh, meat, protein. Gotta get a little spinach. Okay. You gotta make sure Lauren can come up and give it a thumbs up when you eat it, so. Has there ever been a time where you where you made something that kind of went like OD, like overboard, and she's like, hey, Oh, 100%, Billy, like, what you, are gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta test her limits. You gotta, <laughs> right. you gotta eat, you gotta see what you can eat and then figure out, you know, what she says after. So definitely when I first got here, uh -huh. I mean, I wasn't, I've never had, you know, this stuff to, to my disposal like sure. you do. So there's been, there's been plenty of times where like, when we had the chicken tender bar during the season, <laughs> the wing bar, the uh, pasta bar, all that stuff. So look at you, she'll be like, like six more chicken tenders? I'm like, yup. It's been one, it's been one of those days. One of those man. days. How, you, you also mentioned uh, your routine. Yeah. You're a big routine guy as far as what you eat. 
how did you come up with that routine? Like, did you have like a bad game? Was like, I need to change something, or how did you kind of implement I think, it? Like I said, using my resources, and I think the people that I've been around in my time in college athletics and in high school, whether it's like my dietitian, Lauren, whatever teammates, seeing kind of the routines they set up for themselves, like the older guys, has helped me. Um, you know, definitely my freshman year when I was at a previous school, seeing some of the older guys in the quarterback room, and kind of how they carried themselves off the food, off the field with what they ate and what they put in their body kind of helped to me and you know as I get older and a little bit more knowledgeable I'll tweak stuff to you know with how it feels depending on you know the, the week I'm having the month I'm having whatever time of the year we're in um, but I've definitely you know I've tried to learn from other people's experiences mistakes situations that way I can you know put together the best plan for me and, and make it work for me as as you know I go through my career here yep. all right so we got the got the Billy special yeah I'm ready can we just grab after, all some places after you all right this one is Interesting. I want this slice. You got you got everything on that one. It looks amazing. I'm hungry, so let's let's, let's, let's dig, dig in. in. I appreciate it, Billy. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.